It starts with breaking news. A big rig crash in Auburn left police with a big old mess after downing power lines and causing several bees to swarm the highway. Good evening, I'm Tony Lopez. And I'm Christina Janes. Now, this crash happened just before 7 tonight along Nevada Street near Interstate 80. Investigators say that truck was hauling the bees. CBS 13's Jennifer McGraw is live now on scene with the latest for us. Jen? Tony and Christina, an absolute mess. This driver says he had nothing. He could not stop his truck from plowing down the side of the street off the interstate. And here where we see these bees, hundreds of pallets on the ground. And sadly tonight to report all of these bees are dead. Boxes and boxes of beehives crushed alongside Andrews Street that runs parallel to Interstate 80. The driver had to bail off the freeway after traffic came to an immediate halt. Did you lose the brakes? Or? Yeah. We yeah. saw you go by. And I was pumping them and pumping them and pumping them. Oh. I want to get away from these bees. A fatal accident now for millions of honeybees. When they have an impact like that, they usually are sprung or damaged and really hard to salvage. A beekeeper from Newcastle heard the news and quickly came to assess any chance of survival. The fire department is responsible for the public safety, and these bees will probably, if they were allowed to just stay there, would start flying and people would encounter the bees. A danger now to the public. The Auburn Fire Department was forced to drown out the bees. John Miller says he's seen this before and there's just no other options. The loss for the owner of the bees, it's a tragedy for the hives themselves. And these bees were destined to do some pollination work next spring. Fruits, vegetables, legumes, nuts. It's it's tragedy. It's sad. And the fire department contacted so many beekeepers and they all came to the same conclusion because it is nighttime. There's no chance of saving these bees. Had it happened around 3 p.m., maybe there would have been a chance. I will tell you, it was the last thing the Auburn Fire Department wanted to do tonight. No question. What a sight out there. Jen, thanks so much. Live in Auburn.